Good morning! How are you today, everyone? I hope you are doing well. It's math class, and today we have a new lesson. That's why I want you to be ready for the lesson of today. You know, I am very excited, and I can't wait to start the lesson. Because the lesson of today is so important for everyone in this life. And I will be very happy because you are going to learn about it. In the previous weeks, we were talking about picture graphs, daily charts, and what else? Paragraphs, right? And we come to know what do all these things mean, right? Okay, and now let's read the day and date. As usual, I need your help to read the day and date. So, who can help me to read the day and date? Me. Can you read the day and date? Sure. The day is Sunday, and the date is May 3, 2020. Yeah, and as I told you before, it's a new week and new month. So, everyone, get your math books because we're going to use it later on. Get ready. Get pencils. Sit properly and listen carefully. So everyone, here we go. I want you to look at the picture and tell me what can you see. I can see an analog clock and a, and a digital clock. Wow. Well done. So everyone, today we're going to learn about time to the hour. And as I said to you so far, I am so excited and I want you to learn how to tell time. So my lovely students, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to tell and write time to the nearest hour. Wow, it sounds cool. It will be great to learn how to tell time. But before starting our lesson, so everyone, before starting our lesson, here is um, a quick revision about paragraph. Just take your time, look at it, okay? We learned before how to use, um, you know, the paragraph and how to analyze it, how to collect the data, sorry, and how to show the data too, right? Right. Okay, everyone, here I want you to copy the link below, or the links, let me say below, in your browser and watch the introduction video about time to the hour. Okay, here are, um, you know, four links. Watch the videos and also you can play the game at the end of the lesson. Okay, everyone, let's start now talking about time. Time is very important, everyone, very, very important, and it helps you to organize, uh, you know, your life. It helps you to study, uh, to get full mark. If you organize your time, if you manage your time, for example, if you, let me say, if you study every day for one hour or two hours, you know, you will, you will be the best, and you are going to succeed in your life so everyone i want you to listen carefully okay sit properly and listen please so everyone uh we call this analog clock okay so on an analog clock the hour hand points to the hour this is the hour hand okay it's shorter while the minute hand this is the minute hand points to the minute and it's longer one more time, if you look at the uh, clock, you can see that there are 12 numbers. There are 12 numbers, okay, and also there are two hands. There are two hands, okay. The short one tells the hour and the long one tells the minutes. Okay, everyone, be careful. One of them for the hour and one of them for the minute. And we call this a digital clock. Okay, a digital clock shows the hour and minutes on a screen. 
okay this is the digital digital clock the digital clock has no hands only uh, part for hour and part for uh, minutes after the hour okay everyone so everyone if you look here you need to read the short uh, you know do you see this hand you're gonna look at the short hand first you're gonna look at the short hand first so the short hand uh, points to number three three and the long hand points to number twelve twelve so so everyone, for example, here the short hand points to number 3, as I said to you, right? And the long one to 12 o'clock. So it means the time is 3 o'clock. The time is 3 o'clock. See, the analog clock and the digital clock are showing the same timing. The same timing. So everyone, I am going to draw an analog clock. Okay. So first of all, it looks like a circle, okay? So, and it has 12 numbers. So let's write them. I'm going to try 12 numbers, right? So let me start from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, oh, eleven. Sorry for this. Eleven. Let me fix it. Okay, everyone. So here, ten, and then eleven. Okay, so as you, as you can see, this is the analog clock. It has 12 numbers and 60 minutes. It has two hands, one of them short, okay, and one of them long. The short one points to the hour, and the long one points to the minute. So if you want to read the time, look over here. If you want to read the time, you will look first at the short one. So the short one over here points to number 3. And when the long one points to number 12, it means um, it's only one hour. It's one hour. So everyone, when the long one points to number 12, it means zero minutes. So... The time will be only 3 o'clock. And after that, if the long hand will move, the time will start to change. Okay, everyone? So, this is, or the time is here, is 3 o'clock. So, let me erase and draw something else. So, the short hand is here. And... The long hand points to number 12. So what time is it, everyone? Well done. It's 7 o'clock. Great. So let me erase. Okay, remember, the short hand is 4 hours and the long hand is four minutes okay so can you tell me everyone what time is it so you need to look first at the short one so it points to number eight so it will be eight o'clock when the long hand points to number 12 it means zero minutes zero minutes okay so it will be the time will be eight Okay, clock. We we write the time. Okay, in this way. So this is the digital clock, and this is the analog clock. Okay, so I want you now, everyone, to open page five hundred and ninety-three in your math book, volume two. Okay, so. 
Let's read what's written here. Write the missing numbers on the clock. Use the analog clock to show time to each hour. Draw hands on the clock to show four o'clock. Write the time. Okay, so everyone, can you tell me what time is it? Or what do we need to do first? Okay, everyone, I want you to open page 593. Okay, and listen carefully. I want you to follow my instructions. So write the missing numbers on the clock. This is the first part. So we're going to write the missing, the missing numbers. Uh, what are the missing numbers? Can you help me? 12. One, no, 12 is here. So 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 10. 10. Well done. This is the first part. Now what we're going to do is to draw hands on the clock to show 4 o'clock. Okay, we're going to draw hands on the clock to show 4 o'clock. So, okay, so how many hands I'm going to draw? Two. Two hands. So the short one will be pointing to number? Four. Four. Why? The long one will point to number? Twelve. Twelve. So what time is that, everyone? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Well done. When you're done, just move to page 594 okay I want you everyone to look at the analog clock and digital clock and write the time try to do this by yourself okay so you need to look at the short hand first read the short hand first and then look at the long hand okay everyone here read okay complete each sentence our hand analog clock. So Anne has an hour and minutes hand. It's the analog clock because the analog clock has an hour and a minute hand. The space points to the hour on an analog clock. So the our hand points to the hour on an analog clock. So everyone, finally, please um, upload your answers in your portfolio on Class Dojo and have a great day. Bye.